Insulating your attic is a great way to help lower your heating and cooling bills. Using bats or rolls easily helps you achieve the recommended R value for better insulating performance. Ready? Okay, let's go for it. Use layers of high R value insulation like R30 or 38. And depending on whether you have some insulation or no insulation, you may need a mix of craft faced and unfaced, but we'll get to that later. Here are the tools, supplies, and safety gear you'll need for insulation. Let's get started. Insulation comes in rolls or pre-cut bats. Either works, but we recommend using rolls in your attic to quickly cover a large area. Just roll out the insulation and cut as needed. Pre-cut bats are great for areas built at standard dimensions or when it's easier to move small sections of insulation at a time. If you're adding insulation to what's already there, you need to use unfaced insulation. Putting craft face insulation over existing insulation will trap moisture and lead to mold and other problems. And that's not good. With existing insulation, all you need to do is add rolls of new unfaced insulation until you reach your desired R value. If you're insulating an attic that has no existing insulation, you could use craft face insulation on your first layer because that paper or vapor retarder will help keep moisture from moving between your home below and the attic. Before we start insulating the attic from scratch, let's seal any air leaks with caulk for small gaps and foam for gaps up to three inches. Then we need to protect any objects that produce heat, like these can lights, by building a baffle. A baffle is like a box that you place around the heat source. You can construct one using cardboard or rigid foam. This will need to keep insulation at least three inches away from the object. Ventilation is incredibly important with attic insulation. Be sure and use a vent chute so the fiberglass doesn't come into contact with the underside of the roof. Now that all that's done, we can get down to it. Measure your joist cavity opening to make sure your insulation will fit side to side and end to end. As you cut down your roll, use a two x four and a utility knife on top of your base for a clean, easy cut. If you have a narrow joist opening, you may need to trim it lengthwise before getting into the attic. When you're installing in your attic floor, place the paper side down against the floor to help prevent moisture from moving between your home below and the attic. The unfaced side should be what you see when you're finished. Place your insulation between the joists and press it into place, just like you would with a wall. You can continue to add rolls of unfaced insulation until you reach your desired R value. Don't forget about the attic door or hatch. Foam boards and weather stripping can do the trick. 